Hello everyone, welcome back to this Siemens i7-1500 PLC and the Cinemix S120 series video. In this video, I would like to discuss the torque limitation control for the Cinemix S120. And the basic idea when we implement the torque limitation control, we will use the Siemens Telegram 750. And from the technology object, we will enable the torque data this selection and select this telegram 750. From the PLC wise, we will use MC torque limiting, and then we can set the torque value, for example, 0.6 new meter or 0.2 new meter. So we can limit the servo motor torque value in a certain range. The typical application when we try to use the torque limitation, that is a wonder control. For example, when we control the wonder where the velocity control mode Basically, we can involve the torque limitating. We can set a certain high or low, upper or lower range. So the force or tension delivered from the drive motor, the highest torque we limited there, the motor may be just stuck there or on run, especially for the rewind application. So the motor can keep the highest torque or keep the highest tension and on break the web. And to enable those functions, let's quickly review. Let's go to the TI portal and let me quickly use one minute to show how can we do this. As the previous videos in this series video, I used the technology object to control the red motor. And from this TO technology object, and if you click this hardware interface and you scroll down, and you will find here the data exchange with a drive here. Okay? and you will find this additional data here. And if you check this torque data, and then you can select this additional telegram. And from here, you can select the drive you want to enable the torque. However, now I haven't enabled the telegram 750 yet. Here, that's why it shows empty. Firstly, we need to go to the hardware configuration, go to the drive, Let's click this CU. And from this telegram configuration here, for example, for my motor right drive here, as showing from the previous videos, I showed how can we enable the STO and the SS1. That's why here it has the telegram 30. And for the normal server control, we will use 105 telegram. And to enable the torque limitation. So here we need to double click, click this add supplementary torque telegram. Then you will find here the telegram 750 actual and the side point. Actual, it has one word. So it can feed back the actual torque value. That's the new meter and the side point. So we can set the high and the low limitation here because the torque has a direction. Basically, when the motor run the forward, the torque is a positive. Backward is a negative. And after we select this, once we go back to the TO, go to the configuration, and this time we'll see, we check this torque data, and from here we select this selection. Because we enable, we'll see I have two motors here, one is red, one is blue. I only enable the red motor torque telegram 750. That's why here it only shows this red motor, red drive here. And if you click this checkbox, and after this, we can save the project and compile and download the PLC and the drive because hardware wise, we change the configuration. We enable this Telegram 750. And after this, we can go to the program. And other than the regular MC, move velocity, MC power up, MC stop, go to the instruction. This is the one default control function block. We can go to the technology motion control. And from here, you can select this MC torque limiting or MC torque range. In this video, I will show the MC torque limiting because most of cases for the high and the low limitation, we will set the same. The only difference is a positive and a negative direction. Basically, from my experience, most of cases, I will select this torque limiting. 
So in this video, I will show how can we use this. And I will also show the video when the motor actually is running. When we apply the certain load there, you can see the motor will stop there, stuck there because the torque is limited there. But in this video, firstly, I will apologize that. So when we record this online testing, I didn't recognize my microphone actually wasn't working there. So that's why I didn't record the, my voice and uh, the S120 device noise, the motor sound. So I record my voice when I edit this video. But however, it doesn't have that servo motor noise or the ramp up, ramp down that stops sounds anymore. So apologize this. All right, now let's download the S120 and the i7-1500 PLC and let's do the online test. Before we go online, uh, let's quickly review this MC torque limiting, this function block, how can we program this? So we drag this MC torque limiting from the library and here this axis that should come from the motor axis. You drag that dbto direct to here and this enable, basically we can turn it on, always on. And while this enable is on, we can change the limiting value on the fly. And also in addition, we need to program the MC velocity because the MC torque limiting is just a limit the torque. To control the motor run, we still need the MC velocity. And here, we need to take care of one thing is this positioning closed loop. By default, this positioning control is true. But when we use the torque limitation here, I highly recommend we turn off this. Uh, I will show when we turn it on this closed loop control, what will happen. I will show the video after. Also, this MC torque limiting set point here, that is the new meter set point. So you need to figure out what the maximum new meter from your motor. To check this new meter of your motor, you can go to the drive and we can check the parameters. We can go to the parameter wheel and then we can find the parameter P312 and that's the rate of the motor torque. And here we can see my motor that's a 0.6 new meter. Basically, when we use the MC torque limiting, the side point value will be lower than this 0.6 new meter. But here I would like to mention one thing, the side point of this MC torque limiting here, when we talk about the torque limitation side point, I would like to mention one thing especially here. So at this TO technology object, go to the configuration and at here limits, this torque limits here, you need to worry carefully about this setting. By default, that is an effective on low side. Okay. But personally, I would recommend you select the motor side. So select the motor side. Okay. That means the torque limitation set point. So that represents the torque from the motor rather than the torque at the end of this low side. Because in case your motor change the gearbox and you forget this setting, then your side point go to the motor side point inside, it won't be the same. So I would recommend you do this on motor side. And definitely if you use the 10 ratio or 20 ratio of the gearbox, you need to convert from your low side to the motor side. But this is just a very simple mess, right? For example, if I'm using the 10 ratio, the gearbox, if at the low side, I set five new meter limitation, then that means the motor, that's a 0.5 new meter limitation at the motor side. And then let's go to the TO, this add on this torque, torque data here. Make sure I select this red motor. Okay, after we add that telegram 750, we will see this selection. All right, now, we are able to download the PLC and the drive. And when we download the PLC need to restart because we enable the Telegram 750, we need to download the hardware configuration. So the CPU need to restart. And then we can download the S120 server drive and we can go online after the download. All right, firstly, let me reset this access and then we can power on the motor noise okay 
And after this, we can use MC velocity and I can set 1000 degree per second. So basically that's a three revolution per second speed. And I can fire this motor at first. And take care here, firstly, I will run this closed loop, position closed loop at true first. And once I apply the torque limitation, we will see some weird things happened with this closed loop, this true setting here. So, uh, okay. And now the motor is running. In the meantime, we can check the actual torque value from the drive. And we can go to the to.status torque data and actual torque value. And we can see now because it's a zero load, so this actual torque is very low. And then we can go to the MC torque limiting here and we can prepare one limitation set point at here. And we can enable this MC torque limiting and we can set the limitation value. And since my motor maximum torque value that's the 0.6 Nm, I can set a certain low value, 0.2. And then I will fire this enable to true. So this limitation value will deliver to the drive. And now I can apply a certain load. With this setting 0.2 Nm, actually this is a, a certain low side point, the torque value. So I can use um, some hand the tool, I can try to stop the motor. As we can see now, the maximum actual torque, this is 0.2. So the motor only run once it's reached the highest limitation there. So the motor stuck there, we can see the 0.2 actual torque. In the meantime, we will find one thing. After I release this motor, release the load, the motor in a short time, it will run very fast. That's because currently we are still running the positioning closed loop, that positioning closed loop that is true. That's why after I release the load, the motor try to control back to the positioning control side point to catch the original internal side point. That's why in a short moment after the load release, it try to catch up the original side point, positioning side point. But however, in some cases, this we don't want. So we need to disable this closed loop control. Most of cases when we use the torque limitation, basically we will control the motor at the velocity mode without the positioning closed loop, this monitor. And now at this MC velocity, I will change this closed loop to false. We only run the velocity without any closed loop positioning monitor. And the last download. Okay, and let's try now. Basically, especially for the vendor control, we will run the pure velocity. And then we will apply the torque limitation. So after we release the load, the motor won't fly away. So it would just go back to the original MC velocity that side point, velocity side point. We will see this time. This is exactly the same case when we control the wonder after we release the motor, how the speed going back to the MC velocity side point, it won't fly. Okay, now let me trigger this MC velocity. This time, this closed loop precision closed loop that is false. And now let me apply a certain load. In the meantime, we can watch this actual torque. Okay, apply. We'll see the torque is limited at 0 0.2. Okay, the motor is almost stuck there and on run. But once I release, we'll see the motor speed just go back to the side point. And we can watch that. Release, we'll see the motor on run very super fast. It just ramp up and go back to the 1000 degree per second. See, 
It won't run very fast after the load released. Apply. Release. We'll see the motor is gently ramp up and go back to the side point 1000 degree per second. This is the basically we want. And now I can stop this motor at first. And then let's try another test because the torque always has a direction. Forward, that is a positive. Backward, that is a negative. So this time let's try move to the backward direction. So this time the move velocity, let's travel to the backward. And we will see the actual torque, the value will show the minus value at here. You will see this is the minus. But now from this MC torque limiting here, that limitation we set 0 0.2. It doesn't have a positive or the negative. We only set 0 0.2. It doesn't have a positive or negative. And this time when we travel to the negative direction, the torque is the minus. Let's see how this works. Okay, and now let me apply the load on this motor. And we will see when the motor is stuck there, the highest torque is limited at minus 0 0.2. Okay, apply minus 0 0.2. Okay, apply minus 0 0.2. That means this 0 0.2 setting as this MC torque limiting this function block, that's applied for the positive and the negative of the torque limitation. Okay, now we are using the 0 0.2 new meter side point here. And now let me increase to 0 0.3 new meter at this limitation. Suppose we will feel a stronger force from the motor. Okay, let me apply a load and I can strongly feel that motor is stronger and we will see that torque value that's 0 0.3. Okay, it is 0 0.3. All right, now let me do another test. At this side point here, let me change this 0 0.3 to minus 0 0.3. Let's see if this side point can be set less than the zero. Okay, let me set minus 0 0.3. So we will see the motor is now running because basically we kill the totally torque. So there's no any torque can drive this motor anymore. That means the side point here, the value cannot set minus, cannot set less than zero. Okay, and once we change this side point from the minus to a positive value, we will see the motor start up. So this setting here cannot be set less than zero. Okay, let's set a higher value less, greater than zero. So we'll see the motor is running now. So as we can see, this MC torque limiting, this side point can be set a greater than zero and it's a fit for the positive and the negative both direction. In case you need to set the upper limit or lower limit they are not the same, then you can go to the library and you can use the MC torque range. So from this MC torque range, you can set separately for the high and the low limit. All right, that's the torque limiting. We can use the MC torque range or MC torque limiting function block to control, to limit the torque delivered from the motor. That's all the topic for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.